It's VR Friday. We are this close to 10k. We are at 9,906 subscribers. And to be completely honest with you, I never thought we would get this far. I know a little bit of self-esteem there, but this is surreal. It is amazing. The fact that we are less than 100 subscribers off 10k is absolutely incredible. Moving that out of the way, it is VR Friday. And I think because we are so close to getting to 10k, it is time for me to let go of my secrets. I will let you guys know all my VR accessories, all the pulley systems I use, all the Quest accessories. If you have the Rift S, you're gonna get all the accessories for the Rift S because I own both those headsets and I will show you how to maximize your VR setup so that you get the most out of it. All the links to everything you see will be down in the description below through Amazon affiliate links, through the storefront, everything is there. So feel free to use those. And uh, also I'm pretty sure a lot of you have noticed the merch is live. I never posted it on Discord yesterday, like I said I would, because we worked till about midnight creating this. Through trial and error, really, we only messed up one t-shirt, but, uh... It's live. It really is, and it happened. So yeah, that's a thing. The merch is live. I don't know whether it's for sale, because I don't know if anybody actually wants to buy it, but you can let me know, I guess. But uh, there's a lot of different colors, as you can see. And um, we have different designs on all of them and people's initials are on them. So, and it says the 360p underneath the initials on the back. So everything is super clean. I think it turned out great. I'm actually loving it. I actually have a special edition one for myself where I placed your guys' fan art on it. So yeah, I'm, I'm gonna have one with people's fan art on it. So that's one there on the side right there. So pretty damn cool. <laughs> Never thought that, uh, that would be a thing, but uh, it's out, it's running. So without further ado, let's move on to this video. So I believe a lot of you here are running the quest. So we're going to begin with the quest because a lot of you are now telling me in the comment section that, uh, that you just got your quest. So I'm very happy for you. I don't know how you managed to get it in these times, but hey, congrats. So let's begin with that. So here's my quest, and I guess we're gonna do a little bit of a what's on my quest thing. This is the original Oculus bag. Uh, have I overpaid for it? Maybe, I mean, it was 50 euro, which is quite a lot for a bag, but it is a hard case. So it is really nice, you know, very sleek, very small actually, fits perfectly into my bag. So I'm very happy I got it and it fits all my accessories. So opening it up, we have the Kiwi Design silicone headphones for improving sound that you just snap onto the Quest, just like that. Uh, so those are first. Then we have the Quest itself, where I'm rocking the Kiwi Design head strap right up here. That kind of helps distribute the weight a little bit. Then we are rocking the VR cover back pad, which my mom cannot be more happy about. She said, praise it in every video because it genuinely works and it works really well. She plays for like two hours straight now. It's unsafe for her to be completely honest with you. But yes, we have the VR cover back pad, which works really well in accordance to me as well, not only my mom, which helps number one, distribute the weight, and number two, keeps the headset more snug. Number two, we have the VR cover VR cover, <laughs> faceplate, whatever you want to call it. It's uh, leather, I have replaceable ones, really nice for when you sweat, etc. to just wipe it off, take it off, throw it in the wash, clean it. You know what I'm talking about. So really nice there. Hygiene is very important in VR, especially when you're swapping out your headsets with people constantly or you're playing multiplayer games. And then we have Vidmo VR lenses for the Quest because I wear glasses and you can scratch your lenses if you wear glasses and you can scratch your glasses as well using the lenses. I have had it happen before. I'm not risking it again. So I just got contact lenses instead. They work really, really well. You just give them your prescription and they send you what you need. Then on my Quest controllers, we have the Mammoth Grips. Uh, very good, absolutely amazing grips. Uh, I did actually contact them whether they would like to send me the newer ones for review. They they told me they'd email me. They never emailed me back, but I still love their grips. Uh, I'm still keeping them on my controllers and they're really simple to swap the batteries out because you just pull this part off like this, swap out your battery, put it back on, 
and pull your mammoth grips back on, just like that. And uh, essentially what these do is they allow you to let go of the controllers, kind of like the Valve Knuckles. Hopefully when the new Jedi controllers come out, they will have this feature implemented and they will have full finger tracking and we'll be able to connect our old Quest to them. So looking forward to that. Then what we actually have in here is we have the little bag that holds my old lens caps on there, so that's there. We have the Kiwi Design headphones, just right here. And normally what would also be in here is some spare batteries. Of course, there are no spare batteries in there right now. They're all on charge, but that's what would normally be in there. And that's how I normally pack my Quest. So that's my Quest, very simple, very good though, uh, because all those accessories do make it a lot, lot more comfortable. And it's actually just as good as the Rift S now. And I would love to do the FrankenQuest mod and I'm thinking about doing it. If you guys wanna see that, comment down in the comment section below. But uh, that does cost a lot of money. So I'll need to know you guys kind of want to see that. Um, but yeah, no, I'd be pretty excited to do that. But the problem with that is I probably wouldn't be keeping it because it would not fit in this bag anymore. And I absolutely love this bag. It's very small, very compact, fits perfectly into my bag, as I said earlier. So I kind of don't want to be ruining that. But yeah, I can see why a lot of people might want to do it for making it more comfortable. I can see why it would make sense with all these accessories. And sure, they do cost a little bit, but look, it's completely worth it because in the end, you get such a good, comfortable quest that you can wear constantly and you get a standalone and a connected headset. Another thing I think people should be getting, regardless of whether they have the quest or the Oculus Rift S is rechargeable batteries. Now there's a very simple reason for this. You will be going through batteries really, really fast. I have these 2,800 milliamp hour batteries from EBL that I bought on Amazon. I will be putting them in the Amazon storefront for you guys. These work really, really well. They have a high capacity. I got a fast charger with them actually that takes USB-C. So they charge really fast. And I currently actually have them in my Oculus Quest. These are just spares. They work really, really well. And this is what I put into all my devices that require batteries. Definitely, definitely recommend it. Another thing that you will want to be putting on your Quest is magnetic chargers, just like this one right here. Why? That is because the Oculus Quest charging port is extremely, extremely fragile, and you do not want to break that. I don't think there's any replacement parts. So getting yourself one of these is an absolute lifesaver because all you do, and these carry data as well, is you get a little cable like this that is a magnetic cable, and you just plug it straight into your Quest, just like that. And then when you're ready to take it off, you just pull it off. It's very, very simple, doesn't cost much, and it saves your Oculus Quest port so that your Quest will last you for longer and you don't have to worry about ripping it off. So these are down in the storefront below in case you guys want them. They don't cost that much and they're an absolute lifesaver. I have actually been putting them on all my devices, not just my Quest. Connecting the Quest to the PC. I have had a love-hate relationship with the Oculus Link cable, so I'm not really using it right now. I'm not a big fan of the Oculus Link cable. What I do is I use Virtual Desktop. And if you have a five gigahertz router, Virtual Desktop will work a lot, lot better than the Link cable, trust me. Not only that, but you get to keep that wireless feature and that wireless is so important for me because I can turn around full 360 and not have to worry about my cable strangling me. So very, very cool there. That's how I maximize the Quest. That is the Quest probably at its full potential. I use the resolution mod, throw it onto Virtual Desktop, play some Steam games, boom. Now let's move on to the Rift S. So this is my Oculus Rift S. Uh, as you can see, the cable is going up and I can pull it as much as I like. Very little strength required. That is because I am using the Kiwi Design pulley system that Kiwi was actually the first company that reached out to me. I absolutely love working with them. They have great products. Check them out in the description below. Uh, this pulley system has been a lifesaver because before I had the Quest, I was only using the Rift S and the pulley system essentially makes the Rift S feel wireless because the cables go on your ceiling and when you need to tug at them a little bit, it's pretty much no pressure with your head. Like you won't be feeling this. And because the cables are coming from up and not from below, number one, you can't get strangled with them. And number two, you can actually turn around full 360 and walk around your room free roam. So that thing has been a complete lifesaver. And of course we still use it because when people come around to play multiplayer, they play on the Rift S, I play on the Quest. The Rift S has its own problems with disconnecting issues with my computer, etc. But the accessories do help a lot. So that is an absolutely 
great accessory. If you have the Rift S, definitely, definitely do get yourself a pulley system. So yeah, that's number one. Number two, we have the silicone cover from VR cover on there works really well. I still absolutely love it. And I would have it on the quest, if not the fact that I bought the leather ones and I have replacements that I can constantly keep replacing. But on the Rift S, it works absolutely incredibly. I've had feedback come back from people that were playing multiplayer with me, say that it just feels a lot better for some reason. And I'm like, hey, did you did you notice the cover maybe? And they're like, oh no, I didn't. Well, that's why that there you go. That's why Rift S silicone cover and uh, pulley system. Then on the front here, we actually have the leap motion. I actually use for hand tracking. So the leap motion is there solely for hand tracking. It doesn't work really well, so I tend to keep it unplugged. It's kind of more like a gimmick than something you might actually want to use. But if you want to try it out, you can play around with the leap motion and use it as index controllers. Of course, the leap motion's field of view is kind of meh. So the second your hands kind of leave that field of view, the controllers kind of go out, but until they're in that field of view, works really well. So yeah, definitely really cool. And then on the controllers themselves, I have the upgraded Kiwi design, the upgraded Kiwi design grips. Now, what is the difference between the upgraded ones and the old ones? Well, these ones dig into your hands way, way less. They're extremely soft and they actually come with a little string down here that you can attach around your hand as well. I actually took that out because I don't need it. The point of the grips is you don't need that string. So that's what I use with the Rift S. Really, really comfortable, uh, very comparable to the Mammoth grips actually with this soft finish on the upgraded ones. So if you are planning on getting grips, I would definitely recommend uh, if you want to go for Kiwi design, go for the upgraded ones, not the version one ones. But yeah, this works really, really well. Again, same principle. You can fully let go and throw stuff and the controller stays in your hand. So really, really cool there. So there you go, guys. That is my full VR setup. I hope you found something interesting here. I hope you found something that helps you out because accessories like these make your experience in VR a lot better. And in some cases, a lot more comfortable as well, actually, therefore allowing you to stay in VR for longer. So once again, all these will be down in the description below in case you guys are interested. Make sure to let me know what you think about the t-shirts in the comments section below. If you guys liked the video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. If you disliked it, I guess this button works as well. But make sure to tell me why in the comments section below. If you want to be notified of future videos, which I upload daily, I upload tech videos daily and VR videos on Mondays and Fridays. So make sure to follow me on my social media right here and here. Join us on Discord, join us on Reddit, post your spicy memes on Reddit. Our Discord community is constantly growing. Smack that subscribe button with your forehead, ding my bell, and see you again in the next one. Peace.